Welcome to our video series introducing Google Analytics. In this video, we'll explain what it is and how it can work for you. In this video series, I'm going to start talking through Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a free service that you have access to through your AdWords account. So if you simply go to adwords.google.com, and if you don't already have an AdWords account, you can get one there. There's an initial minimum amount to spend of $5, which goes toward advertising credit if you open an account. However, you can actually pause your campaign as soon as you open your account, so you don't actually have to spend any money advertising. You can just open the account with the $5, which goes to advertising credit, pause your campaign, which is very easy to do with just a couple of clicks, and then just focus on the analytics area of the site until perhaps you wish to start advertising using AdWords. Okay, let me demonstrate this to you. Okay, I've logged into a demo AdWords account I have, and I've gone to the Analytics tab, and this is how it looks. You basically have two sections. This is the Analytics Settings and the View Reports. The Analytics Settings is where you can add new websites to track or make changes to existing websites or even delete existing websites. When I say delete existing websites, I mean purely delete tracking information from your Analytics account. So if we just back up a little bit, what is analytics? Well, if you have any sort of websites, you're of course familiar with traffic. If people visit your website, that's web traffic. But there are lots of different definitions of how people can visit your site. For example, and often these terms are used incorrectly, for example, you can get hits, you can have visitors, you can have page views, and those terms mean quite different things. So let's say as an example that I go to yahoo.com. I just go to the front page and then I leave. That's one visit. I'm one visitor. There was only one page view because I only visited one page of the site. But there may be quite a few more hits. And hits can be a little bit of a vague term, but often it means that each file downloaded is a hit. For example, if you go to yahoo.com, and let's say there are 20 images on the front page, then each image is a separate hit. And also, there are further hits for the text of the site, and so on. So sometimes you'll see in the media 10 million hits or whatever, unless they actually have the term wrong and they really mean visitors or page views, hits really isn't very useful as a measurement because if your website has lots of small graphics on a single page, each one of those can be a single hit. That way, one visitor could create 50 or 100 hits. So, as mentioned, hits isn't a particularly meaningful term. Other useful information about traffic on your site, of course, is where your visitors come from. Did your visitors come from a search engine, or were they referred to you by another site? Did someone just link to you and that visitor clicked through the link to visit you? And if they did come from a search engine, which keywords, which search terms did they use to find your site? And all this information is incredibly useful and really vital if you're really serious at all about the growth and profitability of your website because you really need to know what's going on, what's working and what isn't working, so you can do less of what isn't working and more of what is. Depending upon where you have your site hosted, you may already have some sort of reporting functionality. And often, generally, most web hosting does give you some traffic information, and also you often have logs, server logs, which are reports that are created that tell you everything that's happening on your website. These logs are very, very detailed, and you would need to download those and often you need quite expensive software to be able to tour through that stack of information and present it to you in a meaningful way. So often the information you need has been tracked anyway, perhaps with the logs 
or a basic reporting package with your web host, and also there are lots of reporting options available. However, the benefits of analytics is that it's incredibly feature-rich. It pretty much tells you everything you might want to know. Actually, it used to be called Urchin and was published by a completely separate company. And if I remember correctly, it used to retail for $400 a month. For whatever reason, Google purchased the company, purchased Urchin, and offered the same service entirely for free. So it's a huge, fantastic, high-end service for free just for opening your AdWords account. There are lots of such services available. You can, of course, do a search and see which ones you might want to use. But as I mentioned, the benefits of Google Analytics are that it's entirely free, it's incredibly feature-rich, and once you get used to it, and it can take quite a bit of getting used to because it has so much flexibility and presents you with so much information, but once you get used to it, you can find it fantastically useful. So that's a very quick introduction to what analytics is and why it's so important if you're serious at all about your website.